What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Seven Days to Die, this time in version one, with one buck trader. I've decided to combine the two. A couple of reasons for this. One being, I don't think you had to start a new game once the full release came out, but I've had some really bad luck with trying things on new versions, especially after they dropped a bunch of different builds and updates and patches and stuff in the last week leading up to the full release. I decided I was not going to take any chances, so that's the reason it's been well over two weeks since my last uh, upload. Now, the other reason for that is I was actually trying to get back to Alpha 21, One Buck Trader, but the save got borked. Bad. If you've ever seen any of Kane's stuff when he was losing chunks and chunks were getting reset, that's what I was running into. Um, I, As much as I don't want to do it, I'm going to blame the PEP POI pack on that. It's just, I got back to, I, I went to the desert and came back to my own base, and half of my base was gone. Like, the construction part, half of it was gone. And the half with the the walkway that the zombies would get up to, that was completely gone. It was completely gone. Um, and I tried a couple of different things, ripped the PEPPOI pack out of it, and that just caused further issues to the point where it wouldn't even work anymore. Uh, I even, here's the other thing, I used the same seed and started everything again and got all of my items back, you know, one at a time, and then I had started at level 40 just to try to get the quests done for Jen, get through that, and get to another trader, so I'd be kind of where I left off since the other save got borked, and that save got borked. So, yeah, I said, you know what, I'm done with Alpha 21 entirely unless I'm doing an overhaul mod and it's not going to be Darkness Falls because I just can't trust the PEP POI pack right now. So here we are. We're in version one, and we're gonna do the one buck trader in here. Now, if you don't know what that is, one buck trader is basically, we have a 6K procedurally generated map, and we're going to attempt to do 100% of all the trader quests, tier one through tier six. Now, we might not do all of those in succession because the way the progression system works now is you do Tier 1s, and then once you get done with Tier 1s, you move on to the next trader, and now Tier 2s are open for all the traders. At least that's the way it was up until, up until this uh, last release. So, don't know about that, but we're going to see. I've gotten all of my initial quest stuff done, but I have not spent my points. I wanted to explain all that to you. I will also let you know that we're on default difficulty. XP is at 150%. Loot is at 200% because I am the original loot goblin. Our quests per day are unlimited. If you didn't know, uh, even in consoles, I think that's actually a setting now. You, they have it default at 3. I think they may have upped it to 4 or 5 now because people were like, are you serious? Uh, they kind of snuck that in. And then people were, you know, you could still get reward items, but it would not count towards your progression in the trader's quests. So they, they kind of silently slid that in. I mean, obviously it was in their patch notes, but who reads them shits? Actually, I do a little bit. But anyway, so uh, we also have 90-minute days. We have 10-day blood moons, and we have loot respawn time every 30 days so that's gonna be interesting hey i did get some honey that's awesome on top of that we are running some mods and i'm probably going to be putting a few more as they become available there there might actually be some more i have not checked today but what i am running is the craft from containers which is amazing i love that mod Auto claim challenges, that means when we do any of these challenges, we don't have to worry about clicking, oh, redeem, oh, redeem, don't have to worry about it. It automatically does it. See, it did those, I, all I did was do them, and it automatically completed them, and we got our four points, which we're going to spend here shortly. We've got Jack Meister 999's advanced HUD, as you can see, and I will tell you that that little altitude indicator at the top that says plus 40 meters right now, that comes in real handy when you're flying the gyro, because you have no sense of if you're pointed up or down. But you can see if you're gaining or losing altitude, so that's a real handy thing to have, especially, and probably almost exclusively, when you're flying the gyrocopter. We also have a couple of Guns, Nerds, and Steel 
mods. We have his beautiful bases mod, which adds a lot of different uh, crafting blocks. And you can also find posters out in the world and get those. And uh, even like neon signs and hook power up to them, like open signs or cold beer signs and stuff like that. You can get all those in the in the world. Uh, you know, American flags and stuff like that. I always have an American flag in my base because I was in the army. So I am a veteran. So I, I definitely fly an American flag. And then we have the warm weather mod, which isn't always warm, or at least it's it's. I think everything's warm now. It's all pleasant until they get the weather update done. But it makes sure that you just don't get those rainy, stormy days about every three minutes in this game like you normally would. Oh, I see another Chicon. We're going to kill him. This is going a little bit better than uh, the last version one we started. Whoa, did, they, did you see that? It seemed like the the chicken like ducked out of nowhere. All of a sudden, it's really freaking weird. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, he saw me. Damn. Boy, they're skittish, ain't they? Uh, so yeah, the warm weather mod. Ta-da. So that's all the news that's fit to print. Like I said, all the saves got borked. Is what it is. I've 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 erased all of my Alpha 21 stuff. Except for my Darkness Falls. Because I think I can uh, go in and do that one. And I might... Uh, tell you what, I've really wanted to play the uh, the Wasteland mod. That looks really fun. I know the Neebs crew is having a good time with it. And though I have not played Fallout, uh, at some point here in the last month or so, I actually bought all of them. They were on sale. I think I got all of them for 15 bucks. Yeah. I might do the Wasteland mod. It looks fun. It looks pretty cool. I think I could get behind it. Man, there's a lot of stuff out here. Definitely gonna get the cloth, cause man, I was. Uh, I tell you what, I was playing hours, hours and hours trying to get, uh, trying to get one buck trader and stuff like that all caught up. Uh, I had a ton of good stuff, and it was just it. It sucks, man. It really sucks. But I mean, again, and yeah, it was a lot of time invested, and it's just borked. But it is what it is. Again, at the time all that was started, it's early access. Now the version one stuff, I could probably go back to. I think I might have saved that. I might have gotten rid of it just so I wouldn't confuse it with this save. I try to. I, I'm just like my uh, inventory management. I'm very persnickety about tabs that are open on my computer. I don't have more tabs open than necessary. Uh, same thing on my phone. And I don't like too many saves floating around on my computer as far as my games. So, yeah, I've gotten rid of all of them except for this one, the one my wife and I are using, and maybe even a test bed for version 1. And that's it. That's all I got. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't mess around anymore. I don't like having ancient saves. It's, and nothing I can't recreate as of right now. So, no big deal. Alright. Oh, hell. Is that a, yeah, it's one of those guys. I do have to say, though, at least there are animals this time around. I don't know if you guys remember, when I started version 1, back about a month or so ago, somewhere around in there. That was about then, wasn't it? Yeah, it was uh, June 20-something, right? June 21st, somewhere around there. When I started that, uh, the, first, the first save around... There were like no freaking animals the first day or two. It was annoying. It was super annoying. What up, buddy? Yeah. Ah, shit. Okay, all power attacks. It's worth using the power attacks. The regular club stuff, just sit there and swing at them for days. Incrementally speaking, really and truly, the power attacks are just better. Uh, I was keeping an eye on my FPS. As you can see, I have the FPS monitor up there. I just always like to keep an eye on that. Uh, when you get in the city, it's going to drop drastically. But, I mean, it is what it is. And I even got a new uh, graphics card. Oh, yeah. So that's something else. Um, oh, shit. 
so I had actually recorded uh, the Horde Night. It was meant. It was going to be meant to be like one of the last episodes of the version one uh, playthrough that I was doing the initial experimental. Oh, great! And I had recorded the Horde Night, but since I had gotten a new graphics card, uh, I didn't change any of the render settings. Uh, because it, I went from NVIDIA to AMD, and some people might not like that, but I, I really don't care. I've got an AMD processor. I like AMD GPUs. I, I view them kind of like Android phones. You know, you have Apple phones for people that just really don't want to mess with shit, and you got Android phones for people who don't mind fussing a little bit if you get to customize your experience, and that's kind of the way I view NVIDIA and AMD, aside from the fact that if you switch to a Linux distro, AMD, like, their stuff is native. What is this? Tube extender mod. That's a good one to have when we finally do get shotguns. But NVIDIA does not give their stuff. You have to use third-party stuff. And it doesn't always work out well. And with Windows saying, screw you, you got to go to Windows 11 by next year, and it just keeps getting more bloated, there is a possibility I might be going to, like, Linux Mint or Linux Pop by next year. When 10 runs out of support. Because I'm just... I'm about sick of Windows. So, yep. That's, that's things. That's caught up. What do we do? We're looking at about 10 minutes or so in. Maybe a little bit more. So, sorry about the first 10 minutes of this episode being a lot of explanation. But with a new series, we've got a lot of explaining to do. Speaking of explaining, let, let's go ahead and get in this side. The trader with the protections. And I also want to get... Do I have bones? I have five. Oh, I do have five. Okay. Let's go ahead and make that bone knife now. Um, I had, and it, I, it, it occurred to me that I was using, uh, I was using the knife build, and then I really just kind of abandoned it early on and started going the route of uh, the electrocutioner kind of thing. Um, uh, well. I guess I'm gonna have to pay you. God, I now fucking hate these. I got, I hate these so much. I hate these so much. I hate Listen these. Up, jackass. What are uh, you standing there for? Don't the you have good news, the good news is it looks like there's a good bit around here, so hopefully we won't have to go 900 freaking meters to do anything. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, I did get some points. All right, so now while we're in here, let's go ahead and do this. I part of me really still wants to stay with the stomaton because I did not get through a full playthrough with it. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and do it. Um, all batons deal 10% more of my dad. And I, it's, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Since we are doing the uh, the trader stuff, I might start pumping stuff into the better barter. But for right now, uh, what does this have to be at before I can do that? Intellect level 3. So I can pump that up to 3 and get physician, but I think I want to go ahead and get rolling because I want to forge. Um... And then we'll go ahead and, since again, this is going to be our main thing, that's cool, but I still want to be able to do other things like cook. So I definitely want to pump a point into that, and we're going to be needing to get a couple of these as well. So it's it's just a decision-making game, how, you know, where are you going first kind of thing. And I think for right now, I've got the main weapon thing going. Uh, we always use archery. And Deep Cuts is not bad to have, but I think I'm going to go into parkour. Alright, so there's our first five points spent, and let's go do this freaking digging quest for Bunghole in here. We're going to go ahead and put a chest out here. Oh, it's not secure chest anymore. Right, See, so the last thing I played was Alpha 21. Alright, I will put food and stuff in here and the water we're, uh, let's go ahead and eat and drink and then we'll go ahead and do this quest I will loot the trader after we get back oh I didn't put my uh, bedroll down either that was kind of dumb that's fine this is an interesting location for that. Oh, there's a freaking dog over there, isn't there? I don't see the dog around there. Okay. Watch me die like the first day. Freaking incredible. All right. Yep.
Yeah, we do have a contestant. Trader. Well, get lost. Bum. Okay, and as usual, we're gonna do the pipe machine gun bundle because it's just more handy. And it looks like everything's relatively close, which is nice. I like that. Passing gas oh, store, just, we'll just, take well, it. Don't just stand there with your thumb up your ass. Go do the goddamn job. All right, now let's go through his stuff. Definitely want those. Duct tape this early on is a nice find too. And the forge, great. That is awesome. Love it. I think it's only two more and then we get the uh, we get the workbench, which really and truly forge and workbench and then everything else, man, is just what it is. Go ahead and eat these now. No sense in hoarding that. Let's go ahead and start turning that into cloth. Alright. And then there should be one thing left in here. Maybe. Uh, I guess not. Okay. Oh, the luggage. Ugh. Alright. I'll scrap it for the iron or whatever. Cool. Alright. And that's all about this. We'll, uh... Make sure to put stuff up. Really? Okay, let's go ahead and do this gig. If I can get a couple of gigs in the first day, I'll consider myself lucky. Plus, clear them, and then we might be able to find a place we can call home, which would be super. I wouldn't mind this one. That's really close to the trader. It would, it would make things a little bit easier early on. And it's not like we're not going to be going somewhere else later, too. So, uh, But I do want to be done with the tier... Oh. Wow. Already, huh? Just a couple of you assholes. What are you doing? Oh, she's still alive. Which tough little broad, isn't she? All right. Oh, freaking dog, right? Is there going to be a dog in here? Sometimes there was, I want to say. Uh, yeah, there he is. There's totally a sleeping dog over there. Oh, shit. Go up the freaking ladder, bro. Is there another one up here? No, okay. Where did he go? Come on, puppy. Come on, puppy. Let's get some building shapes. Uh, building blocks, yeah. Let's get a few of these done. I feel better if I've got some of these going. Okay. Might have to go ahead and expend this. Okay. I think that was worth it. Yeah, I know this one. We're gonna... Whee! Oh, 
Done, son. Any arrows? No. Ah, I got a couple off of him. That's good. All right. Cool. Looties. That's a not a bad. That's a not the bad the one to have. And I can sell that. That'd be good. It's a me, asshole. Repair man. Okay. I would re much rather have the uh, other one than Handy Land. Oh, those will come in handy. What is this? Uh, I can never have enough bandages. Forget about a new way we plant fibers into cloth. That'll be handy. That's a that's actually a really good one in today's day and age. Okay. Forge books? Damn it. Forge books right there would have been sweet. Eh, I'll take that stuff. Get oh, get down. Oh, okay. So we need two more forge books to get the workbench. Okay. Was the toolbox open? No. Okay. And then I don't remember if there was anything up here. I don't remember seeing Oh, there is. Yeah. Hey, vehicle book. Ooh, electrical traps. Yeah, some pipes. Now we can make that baton. That'd be a little bit easier on our stamina than the club, I think. Since we do have a point into it. Ooh, some dukes. We might be able to get that uh, cooking pot tonight. Wouldn't that be something? All right, we have cleaned this area out. Oh, wait. And I will go ahead and chop him up just because you get animal fat and bones. If we have a cooking pot, we can make glue. And the leather is going to help with the forge, too. We need that. Got four. That ain't bad. I don't, I don't remember how much we need, but that's a good start. Might go ahead and sell those for the Monet, because then we can get the cooking pot. I am going to go ahead and put a point into Better Barter, because I do want a better deal. Save a little bit of money right now. Oh, hell, dude. Really? All right, bring it, ding dong. Okay. So these, if I have that, and then I can make some iron arrows. That'll be handy. And since I've got that, word can't use that right now don't need to be blowing myself up just yet uh, was there anything else I can sell I don't think so huh because uh, I'm gonna keep the baton parts gonna keep the baton parts I think everything else can stay in here we'll just go ahead and well how much did these sell for eight hey, yeah that ain't worth it didn't we agree Watch 400 Duke's casino token that's better I think it was like a hundred last time it was something garbage Okay, um, not too concerned about the food currently. I'm, that's probably a mistake. But what is this? Learn to hold your breath, eliminate our barrel sway, and nail your target. Zooming uses 15% less stamina. Not too worried about that. We might go ahead and take the 9 mil, because that's always a good bet. Let's see what else we got. Oh, wow. Did these change? I swear there was one that was like 200 meters away. Whatever. I don't like you. It's a deal. Disappoint me. Um, hopefully we can get back. World. Hopefully we can get back. And again, the food thing might be a freaking issue, because uh, we ain't got much. We got enough to make one grilled meat, and that's if we have the grill. So, yeah, I mean, I may have, I should, probably should have taken the uh, 
baked potato, but that's fine. It is what it is. We'll be all right. Oh, I do have stuff I can sell, but I just don't want to do that right now. Let's. We'll we'll investigate. We can do that, and then yeah, let's let's just go let's just go do this. Why do we have the leather on us? Oh, because the craft from containers. Okay, gotcha. So really, all we need is one more duct tape, which we can make, and six more leather. So that's handy. I don't know if we'll be able to get the six leather. That would be super, but we're gonna try. Where is this freaking thing? Uh, -da. Fireman's Axe Modification, which, eh. Okay, I seem to remember there actually being a dog here. In one iteration of this. So... Yep, I see the puppy. Damn it. Got him. I want to go ahead and harvest that. Alright, so we got four. That's good. All we need is two more. And I wonder if I reset this, will I be able to get it? Bruh. Damn it. Okay. Oh, I don't think puppy respawned. That's a freaking bummer. Damn it. Damn it. I'm trying to hit that. Boom. Well, damn. Come on, Bubba. Come on, hurry up. I ain't got all day. Okay, got him. Okay, so she did that. Beautiful. There's one more. And here he comes. I ain't gonna get caught up here. Kiss my ass. Oh, you son of a bitch! Fuck you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Done. Ready? Corn. Let's see if we can get any magazines. More corn. Man, they nerfed the amount of magazines. It used to be you'd get them in like every damn one. Wow. Nothing, man. Okay. That's kind of shitty, but alright. Here we are, I guess. Ugh. Okay. 
cool. I don't think there's much of anything. There's my leather. Cool. See if there's anything left in here, which I don't think so. Maybe some water. Yeah, a little bit of water. Ooh, two acid already. Nice. Scrap that for the clay. Very cool. Let's roll. Oh, what's in here? Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't really want to fuck with that. Screw it. Let's get the hell out of here. For right now, let's go ahead and go... Cardio. Because we need it. Ooh, nice. There was a car over here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull shit out of the car while we're here. Yeah. Bunch of crap. That's pretty nice. Uh, so let's go ahead and take the stuff we're gonna sell. And I'll go ahead and get rid of these right now. Because honestly, they're not gonna do me any good right now anyway. Um, I'll keep that because I am going to be specking into heavy armor. And it looks like we need to make another chest already, which is fine. That's fine. It's good. All right. You think you're pretty smart. Nope, now, not this you? time. Well, grilled Can corn, which is not going to give us a lot. Uh, cobblestone rocks. Oh, man. Jeez. We've got, uh, we, we've, we've got stuff we can fix. I think I'll be all right. Uh, that I can make. Yeah, we'll just do that. That'll be fine. My may, shop, my rules. May I see you your follow, inventory? Or you fuck off. Okay, so this. Go ahead and sell, 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 sell. That ain't a bad chunk of change. Cooking pot. That is such an outrageous freaking price. And we're probably going to have to go with the cooking grill, too. Which just decimated our stuff, but we've got it first day. We're done doing business. Get out of my store. I think I fucked that up though, because I think I could have made him in the grill or made him in the forge a lot cheaper. Uh, you got any ammo? No, we'll take a uh, something tomorrow. Yeah, we'll take that. Packed. Well, don't just. And then. What the hell do you want this time? Yeah, he's got no ammo <laughs> that we could use. I don't even know why I open the doors. Do to do. Uh, nothing in here. Sure. Yeah, I fucked that up. I, I really could have... Uh, we can make... I'm pretty sure we can make the forge. So we didn't have to spend all that money. Five, that's 500-something bucks we didn't have to spend. But honestly, we're at 50%. And I don't think we got that much food that we can immediately eat in here. If any. No, we're going to have to make some stuff. So, it is what it is. We'll go ahead and drink that, because that's a thing. Make that. And then we will have the stuff to make the forge. Rock on. Alright. Cool. Boom. A little bit extra security. Security. Um, yeah, I mean, it ain't looking too good, really. But it's fine. We'll manage. And that's actually not bad. That's pretty good right there. So, again, I think I'm just going to spend the night up here. 
And if we need to get in the defensive position downstairs, we can do it. Well, I'll just put, I need a campfire. Just put it right there for right now. Let's do the water. Uh, just do a couple right now. Because we're okay on water, but we're starving. So let's do that, and then we'll do... Baked potato and grilled corn. Boom. Lay this baby down. Yep. Uh, I am going to have the forge. I'm just going to lay the forge in here somewhere. Like probably right there. If there's room. I think there's room, right? Or is it, is it three? I think it's three. Yeah, it takes up three squares. Okay. Well, whatever then, I guess. Uh, we'll put it up top then. Screw it. Screw it. We'll do it live. And then, just in case... Have another wooden hatch up here. I mean, I know they can get up, but I, I've got a plan for that. Do this, and then... Boom. And I can do that. I could probably even put a door up here, huh? I may have to get rid of that. I don't know. Let's see. It worked. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of weird, but it's okay. It's all right. And this is the start of our house. Yay! I might go do some more, take all some of these trees down right here, and maybe try to build a second story up here so that we can be comfortable. But uh, yeah, I think that's about it, guys. I'm gonna place this here temporarily. And we're going to just put some clay in and some iron in. And we're going to see where we can go with this. Boom. All in all, not bad for a first day. Uh, I would love to find some ammo. But we're going to do some quests and stuff. We are two quests down on Wrecked. So that's awesome. But I think that's going to do it. I'm just going to chill here tonight. Maybe make some uh, iron arrowheads so that we don't have to use these crappy stone arrows anymore. That'll bring us up to a different level and help us kill some zombies in their sleep while we're sneaking like little bitches. And it'll be awesome. So, again, thanks for uh, coming out and checking this out, guys. If you think it's worth a look, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. It'd be fantastic. It does help the channel very very much we're gonna pick this up first thing in the morning about 0400 hopefully on day two i will catch you cats in the comments let's play some